Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game. Here we are for episode number four on our Let's Play series. So episode number three, we're lucky enough to find a big gold nugget over at our hog pen wash over there. Um, we got $48,000, $48,49, whatever it was. Um, and we brought our mobile wash plant, our little digger here, which I've got set up ready to go, and all the gear we needed. I did have to go back and buy some extra stuff because I forgot, but um, I've filled everything up. I've got the water flowing here with a bit of a bug because this hose doesn't stretch all the way down to the river. It's only like a little hose, obviously. So they need to make um, like red hose with a hose attachment to join multiple hoses together. You're probably going to need four or five red hoses to get down to the, the water, but there's a bug. Stick the filter on the end of your hose. Stick it in this big bucket here that you use to um, like wash your gold to get the gold, obviously. Um, and it gives you water. So we're going to get everything else set up at the moment. So we'll start with the the water side of things. So we put our green hose onto here, walk it around the side, and wherever you walk, the hose will go on the ground. So unless it tightens up like that and sort of glitches through the machine. Anyway, never mind. Um, and then you put it in here, and we're going to connect it to the machine. But I'll show you something else. So if you run this way and you're like, ah. Oh, don't want to go that way hold your right mouse button down and it will slowly reel the hose back in um, and whether you want to reel it the whole way in or say just stop there you can stop there and then continue on and plug it into the machine over here um, if you want to completely reel it up you just unplug it hold the right mouse button to all the way back here and it will roll it back up like it's brand new again so that's all connected so we've got water into there We'll have water into here as well. Now we need to plug in power. So we needed to buy a blue cord, which I didn't get before, the blue electrical cable. So I had to go back and get that, because um, this one only takes the thicker blue cord, not the yellow one that we brought. So that's connected up there. We also need to plug power into here with our little yellow electrical cable. We'll run around the side, and this has to be plugged into our magnetite separator. So plug it into there, so that will be powered and watered as well. We've got two buckets underneath, we've got a bucket under here ready to go. And I had to buy an extra um, generator, because you'll see here, there's only one spot for yellow cords, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I would like to see an addition of another spot for a yellow cord. Um, maybe there's plenty of room to put another one in somewhere, but I'm not sure. Generators in real life, they might be like this, I'm not sure. I maybe have an option to buy a generator with two blue and a yellow and then one blue and two yellow maybe so obviously we can have this pairing a light or maybe even two lights if you want two lights set up you're going to have to buy more than one generator which is going to be you know pretty frustrating pretty annoying so obviously if we turn the jenny on you'll see our light starts up and we've got a lot of light over there ready for working at night time now we'll head over here we'll start up this generator here so you see we've got power to that power to that we will start up our water pump so the water's coming from there into here and we've got water into there we've also got water into here so now we just need to start digging pretty much so we need to turn on our machine here our mobile wash plant so obviously we're going to throw the rocks into the top it's all going to get washed the big rocks are going to end up coming down here and I'm not sure if they pile up on the ground or they disappear um, and excess dirt will come out this side and then now somehow which I can't really see the gold is collected somewhere now there's no real no real area for the gold to be collected that I can see obviously the rocks go in and get washed um, come down into here so the gold must fall through somewhere not that I can see where it is Anyway, let's get in our Minotaur, a little digger, our XM270. Start the bad boy up. So I might um, move it a little bit. I want to try and. Not sure. There we go, driving controls. So if we put it over this way, that's pretty much perfectly lined up there. So I'll bring the controls up because I still struggle a little bit with controls. I haven't used it a lot, but W and S is big arm, R and F is little arm, and then you press uh, G to 
bucket up or tee the bucket down. So obviously, we'll, we'll chuck the bucket in there, obviously, like, like so. So we'll swing around. Um, you can go to bucket cam as well. You've got the normal camera. You've got the interior camera, but we'll go. Let's go bucket cam. I think. Um, open the bucket. Just dig straight down. and close the bucket there we go swing him around make sure we're lifted right up now i'll open the bucket slowly you see the pay dirt going up there we go you'll see it there so 46 percent full so you can pretty much dig anywhere you want i've just chosen this spot because it's um oops, it's not even a full bucket nice and level where the machine's sitting at the moment so obviously you need a level spot for the wash plant well you don't really need a level spot but obviously it's easy to work if you're on a level spot continue to dig down we can pretty much you can just dig anywhere you want which is probably the most amazing thing you don't have to well you can't dig anywhere you want you've got to dig within your claim but you know, anywhere in this little area where this lighter dirt is, you can dig anywhere. So if you want to big, dig a big hole here, you can. You know, if you want to dig it somewhere else, you can. Um, the plan for me will be to dig a big hole at the far end of the claim eventually and um, use a loader to, to obviously bring the dirt back to the wash plant once we can afford a loader. Sort of struggling. You can hear it struggling to close the bucket because it's digging straight into the ground. be good to have um like two joysticks to be able to do this It'd be pretty cool i'm not sure if they're going to have joystick support later on i know they have controller support but i'm just using the keyboard at the moment um, i don't literally don't have a controller to use i did have an old xbox uh, one controller but i can't remember where the cord is to plug it in so i'll either have to buy another controller or another cord one of the two but you know i'm more than happy using the keyboard Slowly empty all that in. So we're at 38% now with a bucket already. Continue to dig. So you, can, so you can pretty much dig anywhere if you want. Make sure we're getting a full bucket. I'm obviously not the best operator of a digger. That's why I don't drive diggers at work. I just drive trucks. Oops. Um, so keep tipping this in. So we've got 45% gold at the moment. Is pretty cool and obviously you can dig you can dig right next to the wash plant if you wanted to but i sort of want to make sure i'm digging away from it i don't want to be digging too close to it uh, i'm not sure if pay dirt is better once you get deeper or if it's sort of the same amount everywhere but you'll think once you get deeper into the soil the amount of gold that you're collecting will be a lot better but i'm not really sure exactly how Playway and the developers have actually designed it. I know they were planning on making it um, have more pay dirt down low, but to start a game off with, it's going to be hard to get down low, obviously, with only a shovel. So, but I think once you get to this stage, it would be a good idea to make it so the pay dirt's a lot further down. So, obviously, our next step will be. Um, whether we want to buy a front-end loader next or maybe a dozer. So you guys let me know what you think we should do next. Should we get a dozer um, or should we get a front-end loader to make this job a little bit easier? Obviously we can just spend an episode just digging a massive hole and stockpiling the dirt off to the side somewhere and then the next episode we can bring the loader in and just transport it all to the wash plant. Or we can dig a massive hole like this and then bring the dozer in and sort of level up, ramp it down a little bit so we can continue to dig lower and lower. So we're at 79%, still not quite full yet. But you can see this is going to be a lot quicker than digging with a shovel. And the way the dirt moves is just amazing. They've got that, that's pretty good. Like there's no other game that I've ever seen um, that the terrain just digs away like this does. Could only imagine how difficult it actually is to 
to yeah make it so it actually looks so diggable. Even with a shovel, you could actually notice when where you're digging and all that sort of stuff. So we're ninety six percent. So we're going to be hundred percent now. We should have probably put only half a bucket in then. Uh, there we go. It's pretty much going to be full. So we'll put our bucket on the ground. Safety reasons, of course. Jump on down. Still got the pay dirt. See the little rocks all falling out here and sort of just going in. I'm not sure if these rocks we can pick up later on. A couple of big rocks, it just means that we've missed a little bit of pay dirt, I think. So we can shut the machine down now. As you can see, 100%. Now, I'm not sure if we can just pan it from here or we actually need a magnetite separator. But we've got one anyway, so we'll start him up. Pick up our bucket, tip it in, and we'll show you gold on the right, magnetites on the left. Ninety percent to ten percent. That's pretty good. So let's see if we can tip more magnetite in. See if it'll adjust anything. It hasn't. So the magnetites just disappeared now, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Um, we obviously need to get a magnetite trailer, but we don't quite have enough money. I think it's like five thousand dollars or something. But so now we'll shut this down. So I think our next step will be to pan. So we'll drop that down there. Try not to drop it. Start agitating a little bit. Tip off all the dirty water. Come back down, agitate a little bit more. It's taking a fair while, actually. There we go. There we go. Got a few good nuggets in. There's a few big ones as well. Get rid of a lot of these rocks. There we go. Some massive ones. 0 0.6, that one. That was 0 0.7, 0 0.7. That was another 6. Another 6. That was only a little one, that one. Oh, that was a big one, an 8. That was a 1. This one will probably be a little baby one, too. No, that was nothing, pretty much. But that's 0 0.35 ounces out of our first little bit of panning. So we'll tip that in. Dump that back down, try not to drop it. Oop. So agitate again. Tip the water out. Can just go up and down I think. Still has the same effect. But obviously agitating. It's a little bit better, more realistic, depending on how you want to play the game I suppose. Try not to lose any goal. There's a few more big ones in there. So we've got four, that's eight pieces. So that was a six, another six, a three, another three, two, a little baby one, another three, another three, and nothing. Well, obviously it counts, but there wasn't a massive amount in there. So we get three buckets, then we get four buckets of dirt out. So that's going to be pretty good. It's going to be over an ounce, I hope, for each bucket. Continue to agitate. I said you've got to be very careful not to throw it around too much and just throw rocks and gold everywhere. There we go. So as soon as the water goes clear, you know that that's all you need to do. Trying to make sure we don't lose any gold. There we go, there's one rock left. There we go. So we've got 61 ounces. We'll see what we've got after.
So 0 0.61 to 0.83, so 0.22 ounces in that one. So there we go, that's buckets empty, so we'll go and stick it back into... Oh, it's not even in there, here. We've got to put it. Uh, there we go. We could probably shut that off while we're not doing anything, save some diesel. So continue to pan. So this is why it would be good to be have two players. So while someone's over there digging and filling up a bucket, you know, there's someone over here panning. You know, you could even have someone every time a bucket's full, take out a full bucket, stick another one under, and then put it through the separator. So it'd be good to get multiplayer eventually. Um, I'm not sure how difficult that's going to be for them to actually implement it, but it'll be pretty awesome. Trying to find the right spot to get all these rocks out without losing any gold. There we go, we'll just leave it there, there we go. So 83, can we get over an ounce? Really hoping we're gonna up to 0 0.88, 0 0.97. It's on rolling away from us. 0.98, the big one. Yeah, 102. Oh, there's another one there. There you go. Beautiful. So an ounce out of one bucket, the pay dirt that we've just dug out. So now we'll need to obviously start up our machines again. Won't need to start that one up. Of course, we don't need our light. We need to start this machine back up again. Have a look at our hole. So not too big. So we didn't dig a lot of pay dirt out, but we've got an ounce already. So. It's pretty good. So we'll get ready to start digging again. Try and get a full bucket. Struggling a little bit, there we go. It's not even a full bucket, that one. So you can change your view if you want to, pretty much put the camera wherever you like. So many buttons to press at once, it's sort of difficult. Go back to that view, I think it's probably the best one. as far away as we want. There we go, full bucket. Go back around, extend the arm right out, we're already at just over 20% I think. Full bucket. Obviously, you don't want to tip it in too quick because I know I'm pretty sure when you have the loader, if you tip it in too quick, you get more than 100% with one bucket, so you do lose a lot of pay dirt. Uh, well, that's what it was like. I might turn the lights on. There we go. That's what it was like. Actually, it's getting late, 6:30 in the evening. Um, that's what it was like in the um, pre-alpha, I think, the pre-beta mode. I think we'll lose the pay dirt all over the ground there. But still, obviously, it's a fine art to get this stuff dug properly and to get it in there without missing any. And I'm, as I said, I'm not very good at digging. Only at 41%. Obviously, going to be able to dig here for a long time before we need to move. So 
So I've only seen it go up above 50% um, when we put a full bucket in, so I don't think we're going to actually like over fill it with this this little digger. Maybe with a bigger digger you might, but not with this one. As I said, you can never be too careful. There really isn't any rush. Six percent now, so we'll put one more big bucket in, and we'll see what it's at. We don't want to overfill it again like we did last time, if we can avoid it. Oh, we might need to go another one after this, I think. If we don't put the full bucket in. Good to have lights on the end of the the bucket as well, or like the boom, Just so you can see the bucket a little bit better at night time. That's 83%, so we might need another one. Obviously, we really should have put our our work light on. That's what we brought it for, but I didn't realise it was that late in the evening already. Go and grab another bucket, we'll bring it back, but we don't have to put it in if we don't need it. I still absolutely love the way that this thing digs. The way they've got the dirt is pretty good, so it's 97%. So what I'll do is, obviously just put a little bit in. There we go, so we maybe lost a little bit, but and then you can obviously tip it straight back down on the ground and you'll see it, it's back on the ground and then we can just dig it back up again shut it down, we'll flick the lights off we'll head on over and um, turn this on so we can see what we're doing or at least we can see what we're doing that way anyway not quite with the wash plant um, can we... how about that? No. Stick it there, how about that? Whoop, no, I don't think it wants to... I'll have to leave it on level ground. And we've lost our connection. Oops. Let's make it hard when you can't see. Let's pick it up and sort of... Move it to there. Stand up, there we go. How's that? It's not too bad, we can sort of see. Um, I think we're going to have to... How about we jump in here? Turn these lights on. There we go. Is that going to help us when we pan? I think it might. Yes, we'll be able to see. Perfect. Um, drop that down. So we're going to run over here and turn this off. Don't need that on. Um, we can flip... Ah, no, we need that on. So we can start this up. There we go. So obviously we're going to need more work lights, really. We really need one like over here and one over there, but we have to buy another generator and more fuel. And it's just, it's going to be an absolute pain to be honest. So we'll stick that in back into there. So we're going to get 90% and 10% again. Yep, yeah, we will. So there we go. So we're going to leave the magnetite in there now. We don't need to take it out. So we'll grab the, oh, grab the gold out. To put in our pan, dunk him down and agitate it. You can hear the wolves out here, so we know the reason why we need lights just in case. Our own safety. I don't think the wolves will actually come and get us, but we never know. There we go, that's it. So 
So I need to get all these rocks away from all this gold. I can see that one little piece there we don't want to lose. Whoop, there we go. Get the rocks down this this way. There we go, that should be enough. So the lights of the truck are actually helping a lot here, which is good. It's not using any fuel, might be using the battery. Hopefully we don't drain the battery on the truck actually. Because you can replace batteries. Uh, where are we? There we go. Move it around a bit more, try and get some more. One point three four ounces. It's pretty good. Another good pan. That reminds me, hearing all this noise in the background, let's um, turn that off. Turn that off as well. We don't need any of those running while we're doing this. Just wasting our diesel. There we go. Agitate a little bit more. So I'm not sure if it's quite clean yet. There's no dirt coming out, so water's clean. Sort of hard to see where the gold is at the moment. There's a piece that's pretty close to the edge. Whoa, that was way too far. There you go, that'll do. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Obviously, I think we're getting six pieces over at the hog pan, but um, these pieces are obviously much, much bigger. There we go, 1.47 ounces, so not quite as good a pan as the first one. But can we get two ounces? which will give us an average of an ounce every time we fill up a bucket. I think it's clean. There we go, it's sort of... Can see the gold, we don't want to lose any gold again. Oh, that was close. We'll just pick it up now. Try not to get too fancy with it. You can always move it around while you're picking for gold, which is good, using your WASD keys. Wow, this is a really good one. 1.78, massive. 1.84. So I'm not sure if we're in a good pay dirt there or if we're just getting lucky, to be honest. Maybe the deeper we go, the more money we're going to make. Maybe they've actually implemented that already, so that's pretty cool. Nearly at two ounces already, we've still got another little bit of a bucket to go after this one. There we go. Very, very careful not to lose any. That one rock off, there we go. So 1.84 we had, can we get above 2? This might be a, a poor pan. Not going up a lot. Only 1.9, whoop, oh, we nearly tipped it all in then. Still got one hiding away there. There we go, all gone. Put it back down, is that... That's it. That's it. It's empty. Only 1.92. We didn't even get to our goal of 2, unfortunately. Alright, yeah, guys. We're up to 30 minutes in this episode, so I'll um, shut things down for now. So we'll turn this Jenny off as well. Try and save a little bit of fuel. So with these, obviously, I will quickly show you. You've got to actually open the cap on these things. You can't just tip in. So quickly just refuel everything 
still got another jerry can um, back whoop, back in our tent, as we know. Not sure how much we've got left in this. Not a lot. This might be empty. Um, not quite. We're still a little bit left in there. So we'll just stick this down here. The lids stay open. I think once we turn them on... No, maybe. Oh, there we go. Shut. Last time I tried to do it, I couldn't shut them, but... There we go. Let's jump in the truck and turn the lights off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Um, finally got everything set up. Our mobile wash plant, our digger. We're digging a big hole. We've still got a few rocks here that we can tidy up later on, but... There's our hole. Still can go a lot, lot deeper, but... We'll try and reach as far as we can and sort of like do a big circle here um, just to fill this wash plant so we don't have to move for a little while. Hopefully get enough in here to be able to... Um, buy a magnetite trailer because I think you can actually sell the magnetite. I'm not 100% sure. Um, don't quote me on it, but hopefully we can. Um, not sure if that's empty now, if it's still. I don't know, it looks empty and it's got like a zero there, so maybe you have to leave it on to tip it. But anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, guys, as always, hit that like button for me. You know, every like you put there it helps. Leave a comment, let me know where you are in the game. Have you finally got to this stage like I have? Um, whereabouts have you set up? You've set up in the same area or did you maybe go and set up down the back somewhere or was just the best area that you found? Um, the only other area that I was thinking you could have set up if you wanted to was in here. Like obviously it's a little bit of a flat area here so you could have possibly set up your wash plant here um, and all the other bits and pieces around. Obviously we don't need this area just yet but like you're digging from here to here and then at a later stage, obviously, you're not going to have to drive through here, I don't think. I think we take the pay dirt up and around into the top of the machine. So you could dig there and put the that in there. But, yeah, as I said, leave a comment. Let me know what you're up to, where you set up. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a comment. If there's anything that you're having trouble with and you want to see, um, if you want to see any tutorials, you know, leave it there in the comments section and I'll do my best to get them done for you guys. But um, it's been Brito's Gaming. Thanks for watching. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you again soon.